Creators, YouTubers, streamers, what's up? It's Andrew Wall here. Ask a YouTube expert is the series, and I've got a question here from a gaming channel. One of the smaller channels that's asked me a question so far. Did a big channel, a mid-sized channel? Let's do a smaller channel. And the question here is, should I expand into more games on my YouTube channel? Should I branch out? In the past, Star Wars The Old Republic is what SWOTOR Central is all about. That's what SWOTOR is short for. And they've expanded to ESO in the past. And they're looking to basically explore what is going to be required to grow their channel. If you guys are not already doing this, follow me on Twitter, link in the description below. You can ask me a question. I will give you free advice. I've been doing this for a living for seven years. Let's dive into it. SWOTOR Central, near and dear to my heart. Uh, I used to be a Star Wars The Old Republic YouTuber. I was the biggest one uh, when the game launched. I got about two or three million views off of this game when it launched, and it's awesome to see people picking up the mantle on this title. Now, before we talk about exactly what you should do with your strategy and how you should expand, let's take a look at his numbers, and so far, so good on these numbers. A thousand subs coming in this month, a 156K views so far. Uh, it looks like this is one of the biggest months for this channel in its history. 23k up to 150 here 200 a month up to now a uh, 1000 per month for star wars the old republic content honestly overall swotor central's on the upward curve and this is great uh this is this this channel's on the right path and this is a big reason why i've selected this channel to provide advice clearly they're doing something right clearly they know how to connect with their audience in some capacity now total 551 videos on the channel 2.3 million views Okay, cool. I mean, pretty decent so far. A couple quick tips here using my TubeBuddy Channelytics tool. Uh, you're, you don't have enough channel tags uh, and you don't have all the channel tags that you would need. Definitely fill up your channel tags with relevant tags. Uh, link in the description below to download TubeBuddy if you have not already. They don't pay me to say that yet. Hopefully enough of you guys download the product so I can get it for free and then maybe eventually get some money uh, from TubeBuddy. But just download it. I use this product. I love it. You can research tags, add more channel tags. Also, your Twitter account, the logo is not showing up because you need to add a slash to the end of your URL there and add www. Then the Twitter logo will show up. But regardless, um, okay, so your channel's growing. You've produced over 500 videos. All three channels I've reviewed on the channel on this uh, on my channel so far have produced between 500 to 900 videos. So new YouTubers, keep in mind. You can produce hundreds of videos. You can be here, 18,000 subs. You could be up there, 700,000, 900,000 subs. You could be in somewhere in the middle. But these channels and these guys have grinded their way uh, to where they're at today. And I've got a lot of respect for that. Okay, so you have one of two directions you can go with your channel. As it stands right now, you're doing highly specialized content about uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. You're experimenting with some crossover stuff. Uh, Swotor Player Meets WoW. You've got an MMO series here where you're crossing over into that. Cool. And based on your question on Twitter, it looks like you're interested in other MMORPGs. I've got research set up for you here on that topic, but before we get there, one thing I'd like to say is you could, if you wanted to, expand your Star Wars The Old Republic channel into a Star Wars Overall channel. That is a possibility. There's a lot of competition on YouTube for that, uh, for Star Wars, obviously. There's tons of channels out there that exclusively cover the Star Wars franchise. As you can see, it is a very high search volume and high competition uh, keyword. I am uh, experimenting with covering Star Wars here on the TGN Star Wars channel, and I can tell you from experience, it is highly competitive. We make very high quality content for Star Wars, and you know we're getting like a thousand views a pop on average right now with our experiments. It's going to take a lot of time to break into general Star Wars content. Now, if you are covering Star Wars The Old Republic because you are passionate about Star Wars, and that's why you're on YouTube, you love Star Wars, then consider going this direction. Just keep in mind, it is a long road, it is a very competitive road, and you're gonna be up against channels like Star Wars HQ, which is one of the biggest Star Wars channels out there. You're gonna be up against guys that have 1,700 videos produced up to today, and 216 million views 
for that particular topic and these guys are masters of covering Star Wars in a news updates lists and what have you capacity so just keep in mind if you go that direction there's gonna be a lot of competition there is a path to success but you really have to find your niche within Star Wars because there's coverage of every variety from many many very talented youtubers so let's assume you want to go the video games direction Cool. I've pulled up uh, a number of the most popular MMORPGs of today and an upcoming one here, Sea of Thieves. And as you can see, uh, based on the relative popularity here on Google Trends on YouTube, uh, obviously World of Warcraft is the biggest. It's five times bigger than the next closest MMO, which is the Elder Scrolls Online. And then, uh, I'm sorry, Black Desert Online is, uh, it's three times bigger than Black Desert Online. It's five times bigger than the Elder Scrolls Online. And it's you know, almost 10 times bigger than uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. One thing to keep in mind with MMORPGs, gaming YouTubers out there, or anybody looking at any trend, these MMOs, this one came out six years ago, this one came out a couple years ago, I think. World of Warcraft came out thousands of years ago. Black Desert Online came out a bit ago. And all of these games, all these MMORPGs, are going to decline in popularity. They are all dying. Every single one of them is dying. They will all follow the same pattern. That's the way MMORPGs go on YouTube. I've been following them for years and watching all of their patterns. It's just a matter of how slow they die. So you can latch yourself to any of these existing titles, ESO, World of Warcraft, Black Desert Online, even Destiny 2, and they, just keep in mind, they're all dying. And none of them are growing. And none of them are going to grow from here. Just straight up, none of them will grow. I've never seen an MMORPG that grows in popularity after launch. Once it hits launch, that's generally the peak of its popularity. Sometimes they'll do an expansion that peaks it, but it always goes back down and it always declines. So you, as you probably know, have attached yourself to Star Wars The Old Republic. Star Wars The Old Republic is, in a, is, is dying, right? It's just a matter of how slow. And there's a small loyal community there today but the bottom line is if you only cover that game your channel will die along with that game so i think it's great that you're looking to expand here is my advice when it comes to mmorpgs someone who made his start on youtube covering mmorpgs attach yourself to one that is in the middle of launching and be there at the beginning of that trend and ride that trend for years that's the way to establish yourself. That's the way almost every big guy on YouTube and gaming got big, is they attached themselves to something as it was launching, and then they stuck around, and they ended up getting market share. Sea of Thieves is the next big MMO. It's designed for streamers and YouTubers to collaborate with each other and play this game. The number one stream game on Twitch right now, it's real hot, it's in closed beta. It is the only big MMORPG I see launching this year. Anthem was delayed by EA. Sea of Thieves is a possibility for you. Maybe you hate pirate games. I don't know. There's no other big MMOs coming out this year. So if you want to go with a big new MMO and attach yourself to something that's going to grow, Sea of Thieves is it for this year, to my knowledge. Next year, Anthem will be it. So you have one big, you have one game per year you could look at. Sea of Thieves right now, very, very high competition. Anthem, when that game comes out, will be very, very high competition, just like any other major title. And you're gonna see all the guys that jump on board new games when they come out, cover Sea of Thieves or any other game, and you're not going to be able to beat them at launch. Just straight up. Jack Frags is gonna beat you. Uh, Xbox is gonna beat you. IGN's gonna beat you. All these channels out there that have bigger followings than you will beat you at launch. However, if you're not there pre-launch and at launch, and then you it's gonna be really, really difficult for you to break into this trend. So you need to start covering Sea of Thieves today if you wanted to say cover Sea of Thieves. After these big YouTubers leave, after GameSpot and IGN leave, then who's gonna be left? The small to mid-sized YouTubers, maybe one or two big YouTubers are gonna be left covering the game. That's your chance to use your experience that you have on your channel making 500 videos about an MMORPG and what have you, and that's your chance to shine. So that's my recommendation this year. If you're gonna cover a new MMO, I highly recommend covering ones that are coming out, not ones that already exist. The ones that already exist are in a death spiral. Cool? 
Hopefully that was helpful. I have some practical advice for your channel as well. This covers all YouTubers. This is universal advice. First things first, you need a graphic designer to help you. Your graphics look like the kind of graphics I've made on my own. They're competent. They say the thing that you're looking for them to say, and they follow some of the principles that you want to see in graphic design. However, you just you just are not you you're not up to snuff in terms of your graphic design. I'm not trying to put you down. You just aren't. And I've come to that realization. It's taken me years to find that to come to that realization myself. And I only have professional graphics artists make assets for me when I'm making graphics for uh, my job. Uh, and for my channel right now, I'm using a template that I pre-created and that I feel uh, is high enough quality, and I'm sticking with that. On your channel, your thumbnails, upgrading your thumbnails and getting a template to upgrade those thumbnails will be a massive boon for you. Call out your community, see if somebody is a pro graphic designer out there and do it for free. If not, pay someone to make you a thumbnail template with professional looking text, with professional looking uh, background, with a number of different configurations. All right, so let's take for example, this which class would you play thumbnail? I'll do a quick thumbnail critique. All right, the text on the bottom and on the top will be cut off on mobile and on some devices. You won't even be able to see that, okay? The Star Wars The Old Republic logo, very small. You can barely read that. It, the characters are too dark. I can't even tell who they are. There's too much text. Everything's too small. Everything's too hard to tell what's going on. This is not a good thumbnail. I would not click this. So instead, what the shump thumbnail could look like would be maybe just a split down the middle, a close-up, very, very high contrast, high saturation of the face of this operative. A close-up, very high contrast and high res of the face of this scoundrel. Maybe the versus sign in the middle, and maybe some like energy marks coming off of them going to the side. No text. Maybe just the Star Wars The Old Republic logo in the middle. Something like that. That's it. Then with your title, instead of having which class should you play be the beginning of the title, have it say operative versus scoundrel. Then dash what class should you play in all of your other meta, etc. Operative versus scoundrel is clickable. It, people would be like, which one's better? Who should win? These are two interesting looking things. I'm gonna click that. It's clear as to what's going on here as opposed to your thumbnail having too many elements, too difficult to read. It's just a mess. And this reminds me of thumbnails that I've created many, 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 many times. And uh, it's okay. Get a graphic designer to help you. It, it's gonna be great. You can use their template and it'll improve your quality in a significant way. Also, have them design you a new banner too while they're at it and a new logo just to give you a nice professional graphic design look. Those are less important than your actual thumbnails though. So that's a piece of practical advice for you. So I'm gonna hold off on giving you advice on optimization on your channel and all of that uh, because I don't know which direction you're gonna go. I don't know if you're gonna go the Star Wars direction. I don't know if you're gonna go in the MMORPG direction. I don't know whether you're just gonna stick with Star Wars The Old Republic because you like it. In any case, let's say you don't wanna hire the graphic designer. There's free courses on lynda.com to teach you how to use Photoshop in an even more professional way. Take those courses, upgrade your skills, get feedback from your friends on which A versus B, which thumbnail is better. Do it. The graphic design will take your channel to the next level. Your bad thumbnails are holding you back in a major way. I'm telling you, it, just seriously. Look at the quality of these thumbnails and then take a look at the quality of the thumbnails that we're making on TGN. This is just, this is a graphic designer that we found uh, and the quality of these thumbnails are, um, this is just the difference, right? When you have a When you have a professional graphic designer, there's a versus thumbnail for you. They, they didn't, it didn't take them that long to put that together. They could make that into a template for you. But that's, look how high color that is. Look at the energy coming off. Look at the characters. It's easy to identify. You know it's Overwatch versus Talon, etc. That's what a professional graphic designer can do for you versus your versus thumbnail, which is just incredibly difficult to tell what's going on. Last thing, community tab. And I might make a whole video just about community tab. If you're deciding which direction to go, Swotor Central, which you are, ask your community. Let's say after watching my video, you're like, you know what, AWOL? It's the MMORPGs, that's the direction I'm going. Take the your viable options for MMORPGs after you've done your research on Google Trends, after you've done your research on YouTube using your TubeBuddy tool and what have you to look at competition, 
drop those options in your community tab and ask your community what to do. Put them in a poll and ask for comments below. You will find where the crossover is between your current audience and what you could be expanding into. It may surprise you. You may do a poll and throw all those options on there and you might throw Sea of Thieves in there. You might be like, AWOL, I don't care. I don't, whatever on Sea of Thieves. You might find that your audience is crazy about Sea of Thieves. Or you might find that they're crazy about Black Desert Online and you had no idea. Do the poll, tell them you're serious about it, you're looking to grow your channel to the next level and you need their help. Okay, one more piece of advice here. Your channel has both VODs and live content. VODs are video on demand and live content. I highly recommend not doing both types of content simultaneously on a gaming channel. Either go all live or go all VODs. But if you do both, it holds your channel back. On the TGN channel, we, we've tried it mul on multiple channels. I've tried this hundreds of times, in and out on multiple channels of different gaming varieties. Algorithm-wise, the YouTube algorithm likes to suggest live streams to other live streams. It likes to su suggest videos to other videos, VODs to other VODs, but it doesn't as much like to suggest VODs to live streams or live streams to VODs. So I highly recommend you go all live or go all video, pick one. And I know you're building your Patreon right now. You've already got 26 patrons. This is fantastic. If you're gonna go Patreon heavy and you wanna offer exclusive benefits to your patrons, going live, all live strategy is the best way to do it. The most successful Patreons I've seen take off are all live. And the reason is you have a closer connection with your audience when you go all live. You can talk directly to them and you can offer them more tangible benefits. Play with me, be on Discord with me. I'll hard carry you through such and such raid. Let's just game one night together. I'm gonna do a podcast with you guys. I'm gonna do a live Q&A. There's way more of a direct connection with your audience and that will drive patrons to be interested in joining your community, way more so than videos, where there's this layer between the two of you. Whereas with live, it's just you straight to them through Discord and through live chat. So if Patreon is a big financial opportunity for you that you wanna focus on, live, 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 not VOD. VOD, you can get there with VOD, but it's gonna be much slower than going live and building that personal connection. All right, enough out of me. That's my advice to one more YouTuber, Man, good luck, Swotor Central, seriously. Good luck to you, you can do it. Uh, let me know what strategy you decide uh, to do. I'm gonna enable notifications, I'm ringing the bell. And speaking of which, you should enable notifications and ring the bell on my channel. If you want to grow your YouTube channel, these lessons I'm teaching other YouTubers apply to your channel as well. I'm telling you, I'm gonna make videos about all the things, and this is going to be your source. I'm one of the top experts in the world on the subject and I am giving out my advice for free because I genuinely want to help you succeed, creators. Subscribe, enable notifications, ring that bell. My name's Andrew Wall, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios. Go crush it.